and I had to cut my address off here. Okay, so we're going to do a little unboxing video here. Um, this is supposed to be the new uh, movement for my pilot watch that I got from DIY Watch Company. Um, man, I, I have to say that DIY Watch is absolutely... Um, they are absolutely on the ball um, when it comes to, so far, when it comes to customer service. Now, granted, I have spent a lot of money with them lately, as of late. Um, uh, this was in Hong Kong last week, and now it's here. I'm just going to... Right. They really like their packaging there, huh? I wonder why all the plastic trash comes from... China. Ugh. Um or Asia. Well, they sure did a heck of a job. And I'm proud of that. Don't use a razor blade to cut the box open. There we go. Alright, you have to excuse this here for a second. They really didn't want this thing to come apart. Uh, so now in this box here, you should have Ooh, a new watch movement and face. And, and telling from the weight of the box, I'm going to say that that's what's in here. And that's exactly what's in the box. Okay, so let's... Oh, they even taped it in the box. You know, these guys are really on the ball. So let's take a quick look here. What is going on? Now, this should be the 8315 movement, which is a superior movement to the one that came with the watch. Now, the reason they sent this movement is because this one is a date. Yep. Okay. So, this is the date movement. This is the... Um, Okay, so I'm gonna find the movement here. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's dive our hands. Oh, there it is. The organization is the key to my success here. So this is the movement that they sent originally. Okay, and you can tell pretty clearly that that this is the um, the non-date movement. So what they're what they're um, I don't even want to say mistake, but what they did wrong was the, um, uh, let me put some finger console in here. Uh, so this is the new movement. That's the old move. That's the movement that they sent. Um, uh, that's the movement that they sent. So, um, some new ones. Try these new ones out here. These are supposed to be assorted sizes. I have little fingers. It actually probably suits me quite well for this type of uh, this type of thing here. Right, so I'm actually not going to take the move this movement out of the out of the box just yet. Um. Because I don't need to. Oh, we haven't got that far yet. Um, there we go. There we go. I was going to do this in the house, and then I was like, eh, I got to move all the stuff in there. And I actually have a. The, the dogs are a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, even though 99 times out of 100, if I'm sitting in the house not doing anything. They're sitting on the couch not doing anything. But I guarantee if I started fiddling with this, they'd be jumping on the table and everything else. Okay, so this is the new movement. This is the old movement. And you can see pretty clearly what the what their uh, mess up was. And their mess up was this is the date movement. And then they sent a new... Um, they sent a new... Oh, that's backwards. They, they sent a new face to go with it too. I'm a little curious actually 
what the new face looks like. So we're gonna take a look, we're gonna take a look at that. I'll put this back in the box here. So now I actually have a spare movement, um, which would go in my skeletonized, um, my skeleton watch that I put together the other day. But we're gonna, uh, we're gonna hold off on that. Let's keep going here. All right. Um, I know this is kind of like this. Really, isn't watchmaking. This is a you know assembly field watch standard dial, field watch standard hands. Box with no name on it. So that's the one we're gonna look at. <laughs> so this should have tools out here. I actually just put all this stuff away, not expecting um, Federal Express to be on the ball as they were. As they were, um, they get an A. Federal Express gets an A from me for today, and then of course there'll be something wrong. But it is. It is what they did today. You know, this should be. Yeah, there we go. Now, I'm a little curious, to be honest with you, if this, I'm wondering if there's something totally screwy going on here. Now, they tell you to not finger fuck this too much. So, I'm, I'm going to try not to touch it too much. Now, this is a flat, The this, this dial is flat in color. And... It's a field watch standard dial. I'm curious to see if these are. I think they are different. Either that or this is this is exactly the same. I, it could be. It could go either way. I already took this one out of the bag. And I think this is actually the same face. No, <laughs> very interesting. So this watch, this face has kind of a raised ring around the outside of it. And this one, shouldn't do that. That's got that, huh. Okay, so this isn't, this one's definitely not gonna work. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, so we're gonna put, just put this one away. So I have a watch face that I can't use shocking I know. and um, a movement that doesn't fit with it that's why they upgraded everything and I have a feeling that they did a like a model ooh, some kind of weird model change all right mid-production model change there all right, so those are hands that's not a case where's my case uh, organization's the key to my success, obviously. Hands. Oh, there it is. So here's the the case. Oops, oops my light hit the floor. So there's the case for this watch. Um, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little disappointed with how dirty it is on the inside. There's a lot of dirt on the inside of this thing. Um, so let's pop this apart. I wish I had a movement holder. That's the, ooh, the only thing I'm kind of like bummed, bummed about is I don't have a movement holder. So we'll pop this one apart and then we'll see what the dealio is here. Let's see if I can make any more stupid mistakes with this project. I'm shut this light off. I have a little leather pad I should probably be working on. Okay. Now, I, I'm not going to get the instructions out just yet because I'm gonna see if I can do this one without the instructions. I, I shouldn't need the instructions. This should be pretty simple. One of my problems is I, I don't pay careful enough attention to what I'm doing when I'm doing it. 
ahead of time. So this comes off like this. Yoink. Yeah, there is. Looks like there's crap inside of that. That's odd. That's odd. Let's get our little blower out here and see if we can just blow that out. Yeah, okay. Okay, we're gonna take the crown out because that's the first thing that's gonna skitter away and cause a problem. I hope the crown works. I'm gonna be bummed out if it doesn't. So that goes like that. So this is pretty much exactly like the Mitatoya or my the other uh, the other one. I have to wipe that out. Now somewhere in this box here, or somewhere around here, I had some peg wood. Um, I like I said, I cleaned up all my crap this morning and didn't put things away the way I was supposed to. Very typical of me. So, we're just going to use this plastic thing that covers my tweezers. And we're going to wipe this out. We're going to wipe the face out. Huh. That's very interesting. I don't know if it's the just the dirt from manufacturing or... I'm pretty sure they don't. The glass is clean. It's just got dust in it. So we have to. I actually have real high pressure air here I could use, but that's. You get into trouble with that. All right. So usually the first thing that you do on these is you set the movement. You use the. Um, So that should pop. Ooh, that should pop right in there like that. You know, I'm, I'm gonna. You know, obviously, I have, I have to reiterate again. That I really need the. I really should be using the. Um, a movement holder for this, and I'm not. In substitution for peg wood, we're going to use this. Be very careful not to hit the date ring because that'll really screw things up. I haven't even whipped out my loop yet, which is on my short list. Okay, so that, oh, see, I already touched the date ring. All right, now I gotta get my loop back out. Take a look here. Make sure I didn't push that out of the way or damage it in any way. No, no, that's fine. So with my watch fiddling here, one of the things that I've noticed, um, one of the things that I've come to notice on a regular basis is there's really, whilst it is definitely something very delicate that you don't want to, you know, you don't want to mess with. Uh, uh, I don't want to say you don't want to mess with it, but you don't want to get in yourself into trouble with. Uh, one of the things for sure is it's actually a little bit more uh, sturdy. They're slightly more sturdy than, um, than, you, than I was originally always led to believe. It's like, you know, my dad always used to say, don't, don't touch a watch. Don't take it apart. You'll never get it back together. No, well, he's not wrong. I have one that's sitting over there that's obviously not, <laughs> that I took apart that is obviously not ever going to go back together. But... That's just me. I 
I'm going to check to make sure that these little pegs are relatively straight. I actually got into trouble with the other one because they were too straight and I had to actually bend them a little bit to get them to go where they needed to go. May, I want to take a picture. Now it should be, should just pop right on just like that. But there's no hole there. Yeah, and you look at that. Well, that in itself is a little odd. But that definitely seems like that's the way it's supposed to go. I never bothered to look to see if the pilot watch so that's where the pins are all right so we have a little bit of a weirdness going on here because that's ass backwards oh yeah we got some goofiness going on here That being really, really loose like that's a little bothersome. Unless there's a screw somewhere. Unless there's a screw somewhere. I guess the only, th I guess the hand, no, no, the can, hands can't hold it in. Wow, imagine that. So we're gonna have to, ooh, we're gonna have to do just a little bit of. Yeah, that's not, that's not too happy. Cause that really wants to not be like that, I guess. I mean, yeah. All right. So we're going to take a break for a second. I actually am going to have to read the directions on this. Damn it. Mm -hmm.